Hey, what's up guys? Chris Lee back with another United Destiny Entertainment tutorial. Check this out. Basically what I'm going to be showing you guys is how I removed some stretch marks inside of Adobe Photoshop. Uh, this is kind of my way. I'm pretty sure that there's other ways to do it, but this is just the best way that seems to work for me. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some quick tips on that. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button right now, as well as hit the notification bell so you can get more videos like this in the future. And leave me some comments and let me know what you think. All right, so let's jump right into it. All right, here we go. All right, so <clears throat> first thing first, this is just pretty much uh, the image of the model that I'm gonna be working on in the process. Uh, this was a shot that I took out um, in Arizona late at night in the parking lot with one of the models. Uh, I really enjoyed this picture. What you see here is probably one of my favorite photos from that shoot that night uh, you see the beautiful gradient sunset in the background this is probably one of my favorite photos i'm going to show you more of that stuff later i uh, just wanted to give you a quick glimpse and then also this is going to be another one that i'll show you how i work on with some gel so but i'll talk about all that later or probably at the end of this video or you can probably catch it in the next video so first things first you want to go ahead and make a duplicate of the background uh, either with the paper uh, duplicate down at the bottom to be able to copy it or hit command J. And then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and zoom in. Now when I'm gonna zoom in, basically you can see the stretch marks, they aren't that bad, but you never want the stretch marks to be that type of note, basically that noticeable when she's showing that type of skin or that much skin in general. So uh, what I definitely wanna do is go ahead and just use the healing brush to kind of basically fix that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the healing brush right now. And then I'm going to alt click the area closest to the stretch mark and go ahead and brush over the stretch mark. And as, as you can see, that stretch mark actually disappeared. Now, the best thing that you want to do is make sure that you alt click closest to the area that you basically want to fix as much as possible. Because if you try to do it in an area where there's highlights and shadows, it just won't work. If you notice, I tried to use the same one. So now I have to zoom in and hit alt click again in a process so I can try to fix these little stretch marks and I'm getting the area closest to the stretch mark so I can actually use that particular uh, skin tone uh, to actually heal or clone stamp the area that I want to fix if you try to grab it grab it from an area that basically has shadows and try to fix something in the highlights it won't work and if you try to grab something from the highlights and fix something in the shadows it will not work so as you can see uh, that looks really good what i'm going to do now is just pretty much kind of zoom out and in the process when i'm zooming out i'm pretty much looking for things that are just really going to jump out at me I can go through and try to clean up all the imperfections of the skin, but that's not my goal here. My goal here is just to try to catch things that really stand out. Uh, in this process right now, I haven't went through and done any type of retouching to the skin or anything. So I'm just kind of looking around to see if there's anything else that's jumping out. Now, once I like what I like or like what I see, I'm going to go in and basically start retouching the skin with the blur, uh, frequency separation and all those other things. All right, guys, so with this portion of the video, please forgive me if you hear any type of crazy uh, thunder and lightning going on in the background. It's raining outside. I really hope that, you know, my stuff don't cut off while I'm trying to actually shoot this video. Uh, but if you hear that or if you hear my dog going crazy, then you know why. Um, but for this portion of the video, what I promised you guys that I was going to do is pretty much show you some of the photos that I've been taking um, in general. For this photo shoot, you seen that I was able to clean up the stretch marks and now I'm kind of basically going to show you guys the final photos uh, from that particular shoot. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so from that particular shoot, let me see if I can make this a little bigger. Um, I would normally open this up in Photoshop, but I just kind of want to get it out the way so I can show you guys I really didn't intend for this video to basically show you guys the photos so i'm just going to try to throw it in there but yeah these are some of the photos this is the particular photo that i edited and like i said i didn't want to do too much with this photo i'll use one off camera flash so if you're curious about what i use with this actual shoot uh, for this actual shoot it was the canon 80d paired with the 50 millimeter 1.8 stm lens 
as well as the Godox AD200 off-camera flash, which this is my first time using off-camera flash. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about it to show you guys these photos because um, I've been in business over 10 plus years now with United Destiny Entertainment. I'm the owner of the company. Uh, you guys already know that. And um, all my years of doing photography, I just never took to flash photography. I never took to off camera flash, on camera flash photography. It just wasn't my style. I felt like it didn't fit me and it was not something that I wanted to do in general. This is one of the photos. Uh, I basically using one of them as a key light. If you notice the background is pretty much pitch black. I didn't use any type of backlight to separate her from the background because I feel like the lighting from the key light was enough to separate her in general. And there's nothing in the background to distract me. I also got enough light on the ground to show where she's standing, obviously in a parking lot, uh, to basically act as a separation. So I really love this image in general. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it overall and, and I love it. So let's go to the next one. For the second one, I decided to go ahead and add um, a second Godox AD200 basically as a backlight with a gel on it. Now, this is a powerful image to me in general just because her image or her, her, her stance or her pose is very striking. Um, she's obviously showing a lot of skin, but it's a very professional photo. It's not like she's trying to, uh, you know, be seductive in a way to where it's unprofessional. She just knows that she's confident. She's confident in what she has on. And I felt like um, the blue gel would kind of bring out the positive side in her confidence uh, versus I personally like to use a red gel for more dark, more demonic, more scary, more um, suspenseful, crazy type feelings in general. But I wanted to use this blue gel to kind of bring out the positive uh, confidence side in her, her image in general. So I do love this image all the way across. I love the way uh, I love her boots and how she's standing you know how her curves are I love this like a little triangle here between her arms the way her leg is kind of bent out at the knee I just love it I feel like the blue gel was the right way to go I was pretty excited to go ahead and start you know using this type of stuff and I'm super happy with this image as well so let's go ahead and go to the next one <clears throat> let's check this one out Man, it's getting crazy outside. Um, so I want it to be a little bit different with this one. Uh, I have her up against the wall, obviously. Normally, people wouldn't use a gel at the angle that I have it, but I wanted to have it behind her. So I basically got the key light and a backlight on the same side. Normally, that's not, you know, something that most people will practice, but I don't care. You know, this is something that I felt like uh, really fit the shoot for me and was going to give me something different. And I just like the fact that it's more warmer tones here on this side and more of those blue blue tones on this side. Now, even though it's um, it stands out a lot, I still enjoy the way that it looks. And then the way her eyes are, I feel like her eyes and her stance still basically screams that she's confident, I'm flaw. You know, I got this, I'm sexy, I know that. Uh, and that was something that I really wanted to take advantage of while capturing just this image here. So um, yeah, this is another one of my favorites overall. <clears throat> now, when I start to get to some of my favorites, uh, if I had to go with number one, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I will probably say it's this one. <clears throat> the reason being is her confidence still but the gradient in the sunset in the background. I absolutely love it. Uh, the colors here in Arizona, we have beautiful skies. Uh, the sunsets are just amazing. Sunrise is amazing. And I really wanted to capture this image at the right time. So for me to have very little experience with the off camera flash and be able to capture this image, uh, you know, with the, with the sunlight from the sunset as well, uh, with the flash from the actual off camera flash, I just think that it's a great balance overall. Uh, she's, she pops, she's up front. 
you have like the silhouette thing going on in the background, which is beautiful. And then you have the gradient sunset just to, to set it off. Um, this is probably by far number one image for me and, and I love it. So just to go through real quickly on two more. Again, another one, this just shows her free spirit. Um, you know, she, she felt really motivated. She felt really, she felt like a new person and that's what she wanted to capture on this camera. She felt confident. She felt um, revived. She felt alive again. She just wanted to show people that uh, she felt free. You know, she was going through some personal things in her life and for whatever reason, she just had a breakthrough and she felt like, man, I feel awesome. I feel great. Uh, I need to capture this, you know, uh, this, this photo shoot today at this time. And, you know, I was like, hey, you know, just pick out some wardrobe and I'll get the shoot done. So. Last one. This is by far. Um, it's not it's not my favorite, but it's just one that I really appreciate just because you can't see her face. But what she's doing with her hands, making a heart. Um, with the background and the colors of this image, I, I just feel like it's amazing. I love it. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel positive. It makes me feel loved. Uh, just, it feels something different that you don't normally get uh, in photography. And I was glad that I was able to capture uh, that moment. I just kind of let her be herself. Um, so just to be able to capture that, I'm really excited that this stuff turned out really uh, good. I think the images are really professional and I really hope that you guys appreciate it. So. With that being said, I'm sorry this video turned out a lot longer than what it was supposed to, but I'm, I've am i been like itching to show you guys these photos in general. So if you enjoyed these photos, make sure that you hit the uh, subscribe button now and then go ahead and um, hit the notification bell if you wanna see more videos like this in the future, just because I have so much content that I'm gonna be shooting and editing. I got like some, uh, the opportunity where you guys are actually going to be able to see me do some shoots and i'm going to be able to teach you guys a lot about my process so i'm just pretty excited about that i'm actually like you know feeling some type of way right now because uh the lightning thunder and is going crazy out there it's super loud i'm pretty sure you guys can hear it in the video but it's all right because i have my lavaliers recording right now going straight to the camera and i'm recording through um, my SM7B microphone and I absolutely love this microphone. It's really professional. So hopefully I can get some real clean audio out of this entire video. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, leave me some comments and let me know what you think. Also make sure that you go to my website, uh, uniteddestinyent.myportfolio.com. I will put the link in the description box as well as follow me on Instagram. Uh, it's Chris Lee, AKA Tooney. That's one of my Instagrams. That's my main page. I would really like you guys to tune into my personal life uh, just because I like being transparent with you guys. And then also I'm going to put the link to my business page on Facebook as well as Instagram. And that's basically United Destiny ENT. So just go follow me on those pages. I will follow you guys back. I will support you guys. Uh, thank you for showing me love. And I'm going to be bringing you guys a lot of professional content. Peace.